Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this type of button that can be used on any model or part in your game and I'm going to show you how to script it, animate it and how to style it. So let's get right into it. So the first step is go to view tab and uh, click on toolbox and just find any model you like. In this video I'm going to use this car model and now the next step is to go to explorer tab if you don't see it go to view and click on explorer go to starter gui and click on this plus button next to it and insert a billboard gui next to the billboard gui click on the plus button and insert a button you can use a text button image button i'm going to use a text button now we have created the button but we still cannot see it so click on the billboard gui go to properties tab if you don't see the properties tab go to view and click on properties find always on top and select it and also find adorni and click here and select your model now we can see the button in the center of the model we have encountered our first problem that the button expands uh, every time we fly away and we don't want that so click on billboard gui go to properties and find size expand the size clear the offsets make them to zero and instead use scales so in my situation i'm going to use six and three now we also need to fix the button so click on text button go to size delete offsets and this time use scale one and one that means that the text button is uh, filling out fully the billboard GUI. If you make this scale smaller, like 0 0.5, it will fill half of the billboard GUI. But in our case, we want it to fill it fully, so I'm going to use one and one. Now let's change the text. So we'll click on text button, go to properties, find text, and change it to purchase. Also, we want to scale the text, find scaled select it let's change the font go to properties font and change it to any font you like now let's add stroke to the text so click on the plus sign next to the text button and write ui stroke click on ui stroke and let's change the thickness to for example three i forgot to change the text uh, color click on text button find color and text color and make it uh, white now to round the button click on plus sign the next text button and write ui corner this is going to round the button to increase the roundness click on ui corner go to properties and find corner radius also delete offset and make the scale like 0 0.2 0 0.3 something like this now if you want to make a border around your button click on text button add a ui stroke again but this time click on the ui stroke and find apply stroke mode and change it to border and also change the thickness to like three however you may encounter another problem that the ui border is not shown fully to fix that we need uh, to make the button a little bit smaller than the billboard gui so select the text button go to properties and find size change the size to like 0 0.9 and 0 0.9 now if you click billboard ui you can see that the button is not in, in the center of this frame so to change that click on the text button go to properties position we made the button 0 0.9 in x axis that means 0 0.1 is left and what we want to do is to divide this 0 0.1 and insert it in this scale so 0 0.05 now you can see the button is in the middle of the x axis we do the same for the y axis as well so 0 0.1 divided by 2 and change the y scale to 0 0.05 if you click on billboard gui you can see that the button is in the middle of the frame now you can see the whole border perfectly you may notice that when you go away from the button the text sides are touching the sides of the button and if you don't want to do that it's also an easy fix just click on the text button go to properties text and delete the text and insert a text label click on text label go to properties 
and the background transparency make it to one and now change the size of the text label and what you want to do here is to delete offsets and make this text label a, a little bit smaller than the text button so just make it like 0 0.9 and 0 0.9 again it's not in the middle so go to properties position this is 0 0.05 0 0.05 now as you can see it's in the middle of the button and now you can scale it, change the font, change the color and find the UI stroke with contextual stroke mode and drag this UI stroke under this text label and that's it. Also change the text to purchase. Now you can see the text doesn't touch the sides of the button. So if you want to change the text button color, click on text button, go to properties, type color, and you'll find the background color, and you can change to any color you like. I have shown you how to create this button, now I'm going to show you how to script it. You'll need to, to use remote events, go to replicated storage, and create a folder, and call it remotes. In this folder, create a remote event and call it click event you can call it any, anything you want now go to billboard ui text button and in this text button create a local script in this script you will need to define the replicated storage and also the click event as well as the text button so local button equals script dot parent because the local script is the child of the text button. Next step is to fire an event every time uh, the player clicks the button. So button dot mouse button one click colon connect function parentheses enter click event colon fire server. That's it. The client side script is done. Now we need to write a server side script find server script service and click on this plus sign and create a new script and i'm going to rename it to button click in this script you'll also want to define uh, replicated storage and the click event now you want to get the event from the player so click event uh, dot on server event colon connect function parentheses enter we'll want to export player and now in this function just for the example i'm going to print out the player's id so print player dot user id and i'm going to print some text has pressed the button that's it save save the script and now if you go to the button and if you click it, you'll see that it prints out the player ID and has pressed the button. So that's it for the scripting part. Now I'm going to show you how to make uh, some quick cool animations for this button. The first animation for the button is going to be when the player clicks the button, it shrinks a little bit. So go back to your local script. For animations, you'll want to use tween services. So first of all, we need to define it. Now we need to check when the player uh, is clicking the button. Button dot mouse button one down colon connect parentheses function parentheses enter. Now in this function we are going to create an animation. I'm going to call it tween local tween equals tween service colon create parentheses. And in this parenthesis, we need to define three things. First of all, the object you're trying to animate. So in our case, we're going to use not the button, but the whole billboard UI. And you'll see wh why in a few minutes. Go to the start of the script. Local billboard GUI equals script.parent.parent. .parent. Go back to the parentheses and type in billboard GUI. The second thing we need to define is the animations settings. So we need to create them first. Local tween info equals tween info dot new parentheses. And in this parentheses, as you can see, you can uh, create many 
settings, but we are just going to define the time it takes for the animation. So it's going to be 0 0.2 seconds. And that's it. Go back to the parentheses and type in tween info. The third thing we need to define is the property table that we are trying to achieve. First of all, we need to create it. So local goal equals brackets. And since we want to change the size of the billboard GUI equals and, and leave it for now, go back to the game, click on billboard GUI properties size, expand the size and change the size to how you want it to look when the player has clicked on the button. So in my case, I'm going to use 5 and 2.5. Click on this size and copy it. Go back to local script and continue this line. U capital, D capital, I M 2 dot new parentheses. And paste the size you copied. Now just delete the brackets and that's it. Also don't forget to include this property table in these parentheses. Now we just need to play the tween. So tween colon play. Don't forget to use parentheses. Also change the size of the object back to its default size. And now when you click the button, you'll see that it shrinks a little bit. But as you can see, it doesn't shrink back. So we need to script it as well. Go back to your script. Just copy and paste this mouse button uh, script and change this to mouse button one up. In this goal dot size, change it to the default size of the billboard GUI. So for me, it's 6030. And that's it. Now, if you play the game and click on the button, you can see that it shrinks and uh, comes back to its normal size. The only thing left is to animate uh, how the button appears to the player when, you, when the player comes closer. To script this animation, you'll need to go to Billboard UI and create a local script and move this text button under this local script. Then open this local script. And first of all, let's define two services, local run service and local tween service. Also, we need to define the player. So local player equals game dot players dot local player. Then define the distance you want the player to see the button from. So in my case, 20. Now we're going to write a function that checks the distance from the player to the button. So run service dot render stepped. Render stepped means that this function is repeating itself every frame. So render stepped colon connect parentheses function parentheses enter. Now let's check if the player is closer than our defined distance. So if player colon distance from character parentheses in this parentheses you want to access your model's primary part position. So click on your model, go to properties and check if your model has a primary part. If it doesn't, you can just expand your model, click on here and just uh, select any part as the primary part for the model. Now go back to the parentheses. From here, you need to access the primary parts position. So workspace dot your model dot primary part dot position. And if the player distance to this position is smaller than the distance we defined, we want to call in a function that animates the pop-up of the button. Let's create that function. Local function animate button parentheses. And in these parentheses, just create a boolean. So is opening. Now go back to your other function. And from this if statement, let's call this animate button function. And in the parentheses, define true. Else animate button false. What we're doing here is if the distance from the player to the primary part position is smaller than the distance we defined, it's going to call this animate button function with uh, this boolean as a true. And if the distance is bigger than 20, it's going to call this animate function with false. Now we just need to finish this function and that's it. First of all, let's find the property table and animation 
duration. Now we are going to use an if statement. If is opening equals equals true, then goal dot size equals again udim two dot new parentheses, and in these parentheses we want to, to type in the normal size of your billboard GUI. Click on billboard GUI properties size and copy it and paste it here. Also make sure to write this eu capital d capital im2 now delete the brackets and that's it create the tween local tween equals tween service colon create parentheses i'll define the build board here local billboard gui equals script dot parent type in billboard gui then the tween info and then the property table that you want to achieve goal and just play the animation else copy everything from here paste it here and just change the goal dot size to zero 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 and that's it save the script and try to play i accidentally made one mistake but it's really easy to fix it so just go to the explorer, start the GUI, drag this text button under the billboard GUI, drag this local script under starter GUI, and drag this billboard GUI under local script. So it should be local script, billboard GUI, text button. Now click on this local script and change this to script.billboardGUI. And create uh, local is open equals false and you want to update this run service function so go to this if statement uh, write and is open equals equals false then is open equals true else if copy this paste it here else if the distance is higher and is open equals equals true then is open equals false that's it and now you can see when I'm quite far away from the model you cannot see the button and if I come closer it has this nice animation so thank you for watching and if you didn't understand something or you have some questions just comment down below I'll try to answer all of you